I have come here to deliver a very important and widely said message to all of you that our climate is changing and it is changing very fast and we we the common people we must act because we are in a verge of having severe existential crisis and it is termed as code red warning so what is climate change i guess most of you know it but let me iterate it once more climate change is long term shifts in temperature and weather pattern on earth this shifts can be natural to uh, variation in solar cycles but this time unfortunately it is due to our activities human activities since the days from 19th century when we started burning fossil fuels fossil fuels by fossil fuels i mean coal oil gas burning fossil fuels what it does it emit greenhouse gases and those greenhouse gases does nothing but makes a blanket and covers the entire earth which doesn't allow partially the sun's heat to go out and raise the temperature of the earth so with this greenhouse gases the global temperature is continuously raising with increasing use of greenhouse gases to reach at the modern society now we are <coughs> we have sufficiently increased the earth temperature so what actually we are burning the fossil fuel we burn fossil fuel as you all know in our cars industries uh, power plants everywhere possible you name it we as human now we need sources of energy because we are become so much of energy intensive and that comes from fossil fuels so the climate change the reason now we know what is hap- what will happen if climate change really happens it can actually affect our way of producing food it can affect our health it can affect our housing it can ha- affect the how we work for example i used to bike in uh, streets of amdavad while coming back from work at a temperature of around 45 degree centigrade uh for you all with this hot weather and hot and humid weather you will probably will not even consider going by bikes it will burn your screen like anything so just 45 degree now imagine if some day the temperature increases which actually has been predicted for specifically for amdavad that overall average temperature will increase by 2 degree centigrade if it really happens like that the summer temperature can go, can go up to 50 degree centigrade or higher so i'll not be able to bike on the road neither you all if you go there so climate change what it is doing it is forcing us to change the way we live our lives it is doing it silently you probably have not noticed them you thought hot okay let us go by car oh it's so much raining for last two months very unusual but still you consider that last two months let's go by car going by car you are increasing the number of instances that the uh, the storms the flood the heavy rains or a regular occurrence of them you are increasing their chances so it's kind of slowly happening process which is actually harming us a lot that's not all there are many things to it for example with increasing temperature the 
polar ice is already has started melting the rate of melting will increase so if it melts what will happen the sea level will raise if the sea level raise what will happen the the people who lives in nations which are nothing but small islands or the people who lives nearby the sea they will see raise in sea level they lose their habitat and they will become climate refugees where they will go they'll go and come to the urban areas where we live so remember it will reduce the space that now we have yeah one more example the the change in uh, you know climate it's not always uh, um, that uh, we can feel but the instances like flood drought we can see you have probably read many news the flood in west bengal the flood in uh, unusual you know in gujarat is a huge flood this year what it does it ruined all the efforts by the people who were involved in agriculture so what this flood and drought they do they reduce the space available for agriculture and with that reduction understand there will be less and less production of vegetation and food that we eat it will lead to insecure food crisis food security that we have now it will make it unstable so every bit of warming is important but uh, do you have any chance still yes as per the researchers and scientists throughout the world there is a still a very small window of opportunity that we have so how we can address that window of opportunity actions we have to take certain climate actions so that we can make the earth again a livable a beautiful place that we have heard from the seniors in our families probably most of the students you probably have not seen the beauty of the earth when it was not that affected so the climate actions what we need to do we must do i'll come to that who are the big players in this climate action the first the governments worldwide the politicians the policy makers they are the responsible they are the most responsible for this climate actions implement formulating implementation of climate actions all the government for uh, it is in a positive note all the government throughout the world they are working towards it and they have constituted installed different policies that will actually address this climate change what they are doing they are trying to implement more of renewable energy sources to replace the fossil fuels our objective is very clear you have emitted lot of carbon dioxide methane in the atmosphere as a greenhouse we have to reduce them so the government policies they are doing in two steps first they are reducing the current emission and secondly they are in, they are installing plants that will actually capture those greenhouses and store it underground and make them uh, uh, you know uh, rocks so they don't contribute to the climate change so those things are being done by the government agencies by the industries they have joined their hands the people who have emitted most they have started providing us the funding so that we can start implementing those climate actions then next big players we we people everyone remember it's not a crisis for certain countries or certain islands or certain cities it's all of us it's scary but we are in verge of collapsing the healthy living 
that we have now. If you don't act, nobody can guarantee. So what we, the common people can do, there is clear guidelines given by United Nations. Very simple steps and what as a climate engineer and the carbon dioxide capture researcher and being in a university where we teach climate action as a BTEC program, what we are doing, I'll just tell you. So first is spreading the word, spreading the word. The most important part of this 10 step plan is the spreading this word that climate change is happening and we must act that what I'm doing here on behalf of all my colleagues who are the I, I call them climate warriors you also have to do the same thing talk to people talk to your friends to your your colleague your peers you go out write in social media do campaigning join the existing campaigns join societies you have to be active come out of the syllabus it is more than your career than your life as the earlier speakers they said they pinpointed life rahega to dusra mauka milega understand this point this is what the spreading the word which is the most important thing and most doable thing that you can do and we are doing that and keeping up the political pressure won't be that political now i am I would just say before voting remember who has promised sustainability don't vote them any politicians don't vote them in terms of other uh, other reasons now because now it is all about our existential crisis yeah so the main mantra should be sustainability yes obviously sustainability is very important we have to lift the people and elevate their uh, uh, elevate them to a higher level because they are underprivileged that is also a responsibility of government that will do but together with that the policies regarding climate action should also influence your vote remember this and then transport your transportation how we transport so use bicycles if it is long more than 10 kilometers how does it matter because later on you will not have that space even in the road you can travel so start doing it now transform it use public transport one car one person just stop that car on the way and tell no you cannot do that go by public transport or take other people's other people inside the car more travel more and what else shift your house or if you are living in a rented house shift to a location which is very close to your office or workplace or schools that will help a lot because you can go walking you can uh, commute by bicycle so that is very important thing which is doable then comes power uses now it is the budge in india we are continuously uh, uh, changing the mode of uh, power supply that we are getting. So shifting towards renewables, renewable energy. We are putting solar rooftops and things like that. That already is in process. And most of you are actually working on it. I'll add to it what I do. Small, small things I have changed in my house. My house do not have any AC. My son is three and a half years old living in Ahmedabad, which is hot, very hot in nature. But we do not have AC. What I did, because I had an expertise in refrigeration, so what I did, instead of AC, I made the room appropriately ventilated. Then I installed curtains in every window and dark curtains in the daytime. And what I did, I used table fans to circulate air throughout and chosen the house that I have rented be, so that there are trees around that can give us shades, reduce the emission. So also another important thing is that soft local products, soft locally, whatever it comes locally, soft that and tweak to your diet. 
try to eat more of vegetation i'm not saying become non vegetarian no but we as bengalis we have observed something like this so once in a week sunday we used to have meat rest of the weeks we eat fish or vegetation vegetable so something like that you have to adopt and that will make you healthy also and this is not me saying this is the report of un they are saying and also focus on uh, investing on uh, uh, industries which actually uh, promote sustainability buy sustainable clothes use it for a year long earlier days the old people what they used to do you know they used to buy only one set of clothes and wear it for the entire year and the next year others would have bought a new cloth for them okay yeah you use this bring that culture we indians were very sustainable but now we are following a back dated western culture which west is actually throwing it away so adopt the ancient not ancient no the the indian culture that we had and plant a tree every year in addition to whatever i said ha huh, i have also contributed in uh, in several ways uh, because of my expertise we made a machine that breathes air to store energy energy storage means battery so we made a battery that works only on air so it breathes in air liquefies stores it and reliquif uh, regasify it and run a turbine to produce the power desired so we contributed to low carbon technology for large scale storage of energy so this is a plant we made so i would like to urge you to act now because people will put finger on you they will show fingers on you and ask people in the future and ask you knew about it why you didn't do anything you knew this was happening but why you didn't do anything you will not have any answer unless you act now so the world is waiting for your answer will you act now will you act now be louder the world is waiting for a loud a response from you will you act now yes sir thank you